I came across this story in Yahoo. This is from USA Today. Rape and incest account for hardly any abortions. So why are they now a focus? As if they don't know. As if they don't realize. Of course they know. These people aren't stupid. They're pushing an agenda. They are propagandists, people. Now let me first start out by saying the vast majority of women and men in the United States, the vast majority, are using birth control. They're practicing safe sex. They're not getting knocked up. And this is a positive thing. This is great. Go have your fun, but protect yourself. Wrap your weasel a couple times, boys. Bring some spermicidal lubricant. Bring a sponge for her. Bring a female condom. Bring an IUD. Just, uh, you know, whatever it takes to protect the weasel. You don't want a baby. You just don't. <coughs> but the bottom line is, there's a certain small percentage of women who evidently haven't gotten the message. Take birth control. Use condoms every single time. Your chances of getting pregnant is 1 in 140. Yeah, these things fail. These things fail. That's why you use two. If you don't use birth control, your chances of getting knocked up in any year, I think, is 1 in 3. So you're going to get knocked up is what's going to happen here. So guys, even if it's wrapped up twice with spermicidal lubricant and, uh, you know, some, some other shit, when you nut, pull it out. I hate to be blunt. But when you're going to blast your load, pull the weenie out, okay? Why take a chance? If she doesn't want to get pregnant, you don't want to be a dad, and the baby doesn't want to get killed. I mean, it's that simple. But the reason why, dear author, the reason why rape and incest is talked about is because the feminists always, without exception, without fail, go for the corner cases and try to convince you that that is the majority, which it isn't. We all know this, don't we? Come on now, people. <laughs> Let me, mm, I've got some Stella or Artur here. There's some Frenchy stuff. Mm, mm. They go for the corner cases because they're the emotional cases. They're the ones that pull at the hearts. Oh, this poor woman was raped. Why should she have to carry the rapist baby to term? It wasn't her choice. And they're right. They're right. Same with incest. Now, I have a couple things to say about this. The first thing is, if a woman is raped, there's something called the morning after pill. There's are you whatever the hell it is, the abortion pill. There's things that can be done. I've even read you can insert an IUD after, and it's still pretty effective. So there are methods if you are raped. Now, incest is kind of a different thing, isn't it? Because it's a young girl, likely and her uncle or something like that. And, you know, he's probably telling her, oh, no, 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 don't tell anybody. It's just our little secret and that kind of shit. And the girl finds herself knocked up, right? You know, young kids don't know about this stuff. She's a 12-year-old girl. Uncle is fucking her. She gets pregnant. She starts puking in the morning. It's, what do I do? And the uncle's going, don't worry. It'll be fine. It'll be just great. I love you. Whatever the hell they're going to tell. It's, I mean, it's a fucking shame. Now, who wouldn't be heart-stringed tugged by that woman who was raped beyond her control some guy did what he did and got her pregnant or or an incis victim that's why they bring it up and to deflect from the real topic the real horror of this shit they say oh you're just a you're just a crazy christian bastard you just don't want women to have sex and all of this other stuff i don't care what you do i really don't sorry i know i should care but i don't but the point, concentrating on rape and incest, is the vast majority of abortion is simply for birth control. It's inconvenient, and I didn't give a fuck to take birth control. I didn't take rubbers. I didn't put a sponge up in there. I didn't put a female condom up in there. I didn't have an IUD installed. None of that shit. I'm free and I'm wild and I'm crazy and I don't care because I've got abortion as a backup. There can be no consequences for females, no matter what they do, no matter what they choose. There can be no consequences. That's why we have abortion. It says here in the story, just 1%, 7,500 is my math, right? I think that's a little high, but okay, we'll go with their number. 7,500 abortions per year because a woman was raped. Horrible stuff. 
but they could get the abortion pill. They could get the morning after pill to manage this. And I don't know why this isn't a federal freaking initiative. If a woman comes into the hospital, she has been raped and assaulted and done horrible shit. Take the pill, make it free, make it free. Give her the pill. And I don't know what you do about incest. I mean, it's, it's so disgusting to even imagine that. And so that's why there will be abortion. There are some of these things that are so fucking horrible to contemplate. Aside from ripping the child apart in the womb, what can you do if a kid is a victim of, of incest or a woman is a victim of rape? I mean, I don't know if I'd want to have that baby either. We should probably have these exceptions. Of course, the health of the mother and all that stuff. But here's what happens. The pro-abort types will never be satisfied with that. Okay, we'll make abortion legal up to 12 weeks in these specific cases, and they'll lose their fucking mind. No, 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 no. Because we all know what it is. It's simply irresponsibility. I don't want to have a consequence for being fucking stupid or making stupid decisions. We, we all know this, right? The corner cases, the mother's health. I mean, it's in the hundreds per year, right? Just what we said, 7,500, maybe 10,000 abortions are due to these other causes. 740,000 abortions are happening because women are being irresponsible. A certain small slice of women. Let's give women some credit, guys. Vast majority of women in this country taking their birth control, they're practicing safe sex, using condoms, sponges, and all this other crap, and they don't have to worry about abortion because they don't get pregnant. How do you get to this small sliver? And I can't do the math in my head, but it's, what, 1% of women in the country, half a percent of women in the country getting abortions? I don't know how you fix that. Another sad fact, though, almost 20% of pregnancies in the United States end with abortion. And I just read today that one in five women in their lifetimes will have an abortion. So this is still a thing to think about. How do we manage this? How do we not take away freedoms of females who have been in these situations and, and allow them to make the, the choice that's best for them? And these idiots who can't seem to just get birth control and take it. I'll put the link below so you can read the story. It's actually pretty good. It cites the Guttmacher Institute and the Guttmacher, you know, they're, they're pro-abortion, but they put out reasonable numbers. They put out numbers you can't get anywhere else, which is kind of surprising. It's very, very rare to get actual numbers about rape and incest, but here they are. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.